Get over here! Welcome back to another video with me, Tom. This is Dan. Hello. Um, he's the new, he's not the new, he's just the, <laughs> the sub host for this video. Because I'm, I'm standing in. Yeah, I'm yeah. standing this in. This is the replacement for this vid because um, Cam's not very well. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to roll Cam clips. Uh, he got some good stuff this week. So, we're going to roll his clips, what he did separate. Then we've got a lot, a big stack to go through. We've big got, stack. We've got Facebook Marketplace, Cash Converters, Cash Generator. CEX obviously. So yeah, we're gonna roll Cam's clips now and then we'll see you back after Cam's clips. So yeah. Yo, it's your boy Cameron from TZC Games. Um I'm currently ill right now, so sorry that I couldn't make it in the video with Tom, but you know I ain't gonna miss a pickup video. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I've got. Uh, shout out to my friend George. Um he has gave me a really big bundle um so yeah let me just go straight through um what i've actually got so i've got a couple of psp uh umd videos uh, i don't actually own a psp but i am actually thinking about getting one so i'll show you real quick some of the films that i got from george a lot of horror films actually which i'm kind of scared of horror films but yeah and then Home Alone as well. Oh yeah, and I also got the Simpsons movie. Um, what else did we get? Oh, actually, I did pick this up the other day from CEX. Uh, still got the stickers on, I need to set the stickers on. Um, Man Eater, I think that's right. Yeah, Shark Game. I remember on the, I think on the phones, you can get like a Shark Game. Um, and I think it's just a remake of that, but obviously 10 times better. So I still need to give that a play. But yeah, got that for £10. I also traded in a few things um, at CEX because I'm saving up for uh, Xbox. I've already got an Xbox, as you can see right here. Uh, but I want the one with the uh, disc tray so I can start collecting for Xbox discs. Because uh, everything's digital for the Xbox for me. Um, so yeah, I also got this as well. From this bundle which is a dual pack tomb raider psp set which is in really good condition i mean yeah you can't really go wrong with that i mean look at that they look pristine good cases so yeah i'm psyched about that i'm really thinking about getting a psp um i mean i used to play psp back in the day um but yeah i'm thinking about getting one i'll probably buy one from cex um just saving up with that voucher. I've currently got like £70 voucher for CEX. So keep tuned. Probably get uh, a couple of pickups with that voucher for the video. Future video, should I say. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Also, uh, I don't actually have it on me. It's actually downstairs. Uh, in the bundle, I also got um, the black Xbox 360 Elite. Um, all works. So yeah, that's a big upgrade for me because... The 360 I've got is just the original white 360, so yeah, that was a big upgrade. Uh, so I was kind of gassed about that. I also got a silver PS2 in the bundle as well, which I'm happy about. Um, I've been wanting um, the silver PS2 for a while now, so yeah, that is a big bonus for me. Um, I just want to say thank you for George for sorting this out for me as well. Um, but yeah, let's keep going i mean i've got quite a lot here actually to show so uh for the ps2 we've got a couple of games for the ps2 some titles people might have seen some titles people have got as well um but yeah so we'll start off with resident evil 4 okay nice nice all complete as well which is really good um for ps2 it's quite hard to get complete sets for ps2 um, so yeah, that's a bonus. We've also got Monster House, complete set. The cases are so good too. They're so clean, look brand new. Um, we've got SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Can't beat a SpongeBob game. All complete as well. Um, I remember playing this actually when I was a kid. I played a lot of SpongeBob games when I was a kid. Um, obviously this is a classic for the PS2. Tomb Raider, ah, oh, this one's not complete, but that's okay, that's fine. 
And so another SpongeBob Battle of Bikini Bottom. I also had this too. Look at the case though. Damn, pristine. Um, this one's all complete too, which is good. What else have we got? We've got Harry Potter, The Goblet of Fire. Classic game, fully completed too, which is always a bonus. What else do we have? <laughs> Another SpongeBob game, Atlantis Square, uh, Super Square Pants or something. Oh, I think I've read that wrong, but yeah, that's fine. It's all complete anyway. <laughs> Can't beat SpongeBob, man. Cannot beat SpongeBob. Uh, then we've got Ratchet and Clank 3, fully completed too, also. Can't beat them games, especially for the PS2. I had Ratchet and Clank on the PSP when I was younger. Phenomenal game. Um, also, another Tomb Raider. This the same set for the PSP, but obviously it's not. It doesn't come together. But yeah, that's all, all there too, which is good. We thought I was done. No, I ain't done yet. So we're just gonna fire through these scenes. I'm not with Tom actually. So we're just gonna fly through them, and then Tom's gonna show you his pickups as well. So we've got Scooby Doo Night of uh, um, Night of Hundred Frights. Can't be a Scooby Doo game, should I say? Sorry. Uh, big shout out to Nathan Plant. He loves his Scooby Doo. Uh, that's fully um, got the manual and everything like that. So that's good. Uh, then we've got Resident Evil Code Ver Veronica X, and it includes the uh, Devil May Cry demo. Actually, I've never actually seen this. Um, I've seen this cover, but I've never seen it with the demo. Uh, so yeah, that's that's cool. It also comes with both of the discs as well, which is good. And this, uh, the, uh, forgot what they're called, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, and then we've got the MX World Tour, which looks pretty good. I mean, I like my uh, motorbike games. I've always played them on the 360. Uh, that's all fully complete too. So yeah, I'll have to give that one a smash. And then we've got Shrek the Third. Some of these titles, everyone's probably seen them, to be fair. I haven't seen a few of them, but yeah, this is all complete too, which is a bonus. You know that we love the complete sets. I mean, when it's not complete, it is a bummer, but there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, unless you go on eBay, order the sleeves. They're pretty cheap, to be fair. So I've got Resident Evil Outbreak Platinum Edition. That's fully as well that's all set full set there you know what i've never actually played resident evil and i don't think i will but i will always keep it in the collection uh we've also got the mummy returns classic film can't beat them films um and then it's all got the manual as well i can't you know what i'm very surprised we've all got manuals because i'm not being funny but not a lot of people keep the manuals not a lot of people keep them actually nice and clean for a change so this is a bonus all the cases seem pretty brand new and um, most of them i think there's only one without a manual so yeah that's a bonus and um, then we've got tomb raider the angel of darkness classic game i think i had this on the psp too and that's oh there we go oh yeah that's <laughs> that's full as well uh, and then we've also got a 360 game. I think I've already got this in the collection, so if I do, um, yeah, I might just bundle it up or something like that. I'll maybe give it away. But yeah, Rayman Origins, can't beat it, can't beat Rayman. That's fully as well, that's all full set. Also, I've got quite a few Wii games and DS games too, but they're all downstairs. Um, which was like Mario, pretty much all the Marios, um, Cookie Mamas, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I just want to shout out George for that. That was such uh, a generous thing for you to do. Um, so yeah, you've actually entertained me uh, with the games um, and the consoles and stuff like that. So yeah, big shout out to George and I appreciate that. Um, I'm so sorry guys that I couldn't be in the video with Tom, uh, like I said, due to being ill. Um, I couldn't make it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed my little bit uh, of the pickups I've got, actually. Um, we've also got a big video coming out soon, which will be the Comic-Con video. So keep an eye out for that, which uh, I think the Comic-Con is the 17th. We're going to the Sheffield one. 
and then we're also going to the Rotherham one. So if you guys are going, make sure you come and say hello, get some pictures, you know. Uh, let's talk about gaming stuff, you know. So yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one with Tom. So yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Oh, hope you enjoyed them clips. Um, as you can see, you got all that stuff for the best price you can ever pay, which is nothing. <laughs> so yeah, he got all that stuff for free. One of his friends, I think his name's George, um, dropped it all off for him. Yeah, he robbed him. Yeah, he stole from him. <laughs> but yeah, he got all that for free. He just dropped it off at his house. I think he was just going to take it tip, and I think he just get it camp for free. So as you can see, he got some good stuff. He gave me a couple of games out of it as well that I've been needing for my own collection. So let's get straight into it. I mean. The first game is not a good game, but it's a good case. <laughs> the classic. Is, who wants to be a millionaire for PS1? I mean, it is complete and that with manual, but I mean, I've got some cases that are smashed, so that's what that's going to be used for a spare case. That's who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> Next, we've got these are from my local game shop uh, in Rotherham, Charlie's. So, yeah, this is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for PS1. Big game. Big yeah, game. This Big is complete. Game. I, I've obviously wrapped it in my wraps, but it literally the box on that is crazy as well. It's like it's yeah, not yeah. even played. It's, it's literally. It is a mint condition. It is a mint box. box. Next, we've got these. These are these are elite games. So what I'll do is I'll do this one first because this one's in a cardboard sleeve, which is Tekken One for PS One. So it's like in a cardboard. Usually, you get them in the plastic. That's Tekken Three. But yeah, this is in a nice cardboard one. Oh, have a look. He's just admiring that. While he's admiring that, I've got Tekken 3. Even the cardboard though on that. I know. No, it's, it's like crazy, it's... yeah. So that's Tekken 1 and Tekken 3. I just need Tekken 2. But I paid a good price for these. That I traded... I traded in a World of Warcraft computer oh. mouse for that. And that was £6, which is a steal because these are running 25 quid in CEX now each. So yeah, that's it for... Oh no, we've got two more for PS1. These are what Cam gave me out of the pile that he got. I've been after these for time. Very about three. Yeah, these three. Are three. These are three. <laughs> I was like... So you can't beat that price, which is Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2 for PS1. Three. I mean, these are some bigger games. Yeah. These are 25 quid a piece in CX. And good games as well. They're yeah, not even like complete with manual. I know this one's platinum, but you can't complain when it's a free bit. No. So yeah, that's Resi 1 and Resi 2. And then we go on to the pickups that we did in Rotherham, which we got some good stuff to be fair. I'll do this one first. This I paid 79 pence for. Chops in for a fiver at CEX. That's Forza Horizon 3 for Xbox One. Cash Converter Special. So yeah, that's Forza Horizon 3 for Xbox One. Then we move on to the next pickup, which is... Mortal Kombat XL for PS4. I love Mortal Kombat. It's my favourite fighting series, as most people know. I, I would have just got X, but this becomes with all the, the DLC characters in it. as Alien and Predator. I had to go up with the element until you told me. I thought it was just like the next one. Yeah, so just a DLC. This is know. probably the best pickup of the week. This is a CEX. Um, I think I paid £12 for this and £15 for the Mortal Kombat XL. But we're all on a voucher from the PS3 games you saw in last week's vid. This is Grand Theft Auto, the double pack on Xbox original. Um, it has Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City in there. Mint little like, like cardboard case. I've never seen this before. That's so old, isn't it? Like, yeah, but, can you can see. I mean, it, it's in good condition <laughs> for the age of a bit of wear and tear on corners like, but yeah. Grand Theft for how old it is? What year was that? Does it even have a year on it? I'm, I'm going to say about 2000 and 2004, I'm going to say 2005, something like that. I'm two years older than that yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> this um, was from Cash Generator. This was £1.50. This is, um, what is this? It's from <laughs> that Assault Horizon. Usually I'm not bothered about the pilot kind of games, but as you know, I can't help myself when it comes to gaming cardboard. It comes in a nice, like... Um, There's a lot of cardboard today. Yeah, li limited edition sleeve. I'm not going to show you what's inside, but the game's inside. It comes with like a, a bonus disc and like a notebook. But yeah, it's in really good condition. I'm not. I'm unsure what to do with this. Don't know if to add it to my own collection because I'll never play it or trade it back in. But yeah, that was one pound fifty. Giveaway. 
Maybe. Maybe. Actually, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And then this stack is I picked up off Facebook Marketplace last night. Top game on this is a game I've been after for a while, which is Metal Gear Rising. What is that? Revenance. Is it Never Revenance? seen it. Revengeance, sorry, yeah. This is completely manual. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. But yeah, apparently it's a good, like, um, cut at will. Cut at will. Metal Gear Rev Revengeance is a stunning epic action game. So yeah, that's Metal Gear Rising. Never seen, never seen. This I've never seen before, but it's winning my collection because it looks cool. It's called The First Templar for Xbox 360. It's completely manual. Uh, the rest is pretty much just trading shovelware, basically. Yeah, I paid £10 for this whole pile. There's 11 games in it, so it works out. At, I'm at a quid a game, I guess. Might as well show these together. This is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. These are just all trading fodderware, really. Nothing that I'm too interested in, but of trading value. You should have done that one as well. That that was, I don't know why I didn't do well. this one with it, but that's this is Modern Warfare 1. <laughs> so yeah, that's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. They're all completely manual, all in good condition. So there's a bit of a, some residue on the case. Bird or something. Yeah, that's them. Then we've got Call of Duty World at War. I mean, nothing special, but they're good for the trading. I'm going to do these two together because... Why not? This is Call of Duty Black Ops and Call of Amazing. Duty Ghosts. You've been playing this at me. Just minute, finished. Just finished, finished the campaign for on that one again. But yeah, that's all trading. That, the Call of Duty games I'm going to trade in at my local game shop. And then these last three are going to CEX. Just so I get the £10 back what I spent on Facebook. This is Space Marine, Warhammer Space Marine. Yeah, I think it trades in for £1.20 maybe. So that's £1.20. I think there's definitely a profit, you know, it's even more than a well, yeah. game. Has and this profit. is Civilization Revolution. I thought this had more value, but it, done. it only trades in for 80 pence. Oh. But the Space Marine, what I've just showed you, and the, this makes it makes it to two pound. And then the last game, <laughs> which we were laughing yeah, about, which is so odd, is <laughs> we Madagascar laugh. Carts at 360. This trades in for eight pound. Eight pound for a Madagascar game. It's just, <laughs> it's the thing about game collecting. You just never ever know what's literally. worth money. You just never know. So it's because he's a film as well. I yeah, guarantee yeah. it. You literally said for, like games like that. That yeah, always, it's just that so always random more. games always hold the value. So that and the two I've just showed you all trading for ten pounds. So that's my ten pound back, and then all the other games I technically get for free. Yeah, just we've got a couple more pickups. Um, we'll start with one on top. Which is UFC Undisputed 2009. We're going to smash this yeah. later. Again, we've both said. Yeah. Compared to the new UFCs. The, the new UFCs are so like just sloppy. There's but nothing on these. They really oh. feel like you've got knockout power behind the fist that you throw in this game. So that's UFC Undisputed. I'm a big fan of the UFC games, but that they just you can't you can't be. No, it. you can't. You can't. And this we're not. going for a new subset. On the PlayStation through PlayStation One all the way to PS4. I've only just started, so there's nothing really to show. But this NHL 09 and NHL 10, so we're going for the full set on them. I mean, they're not really worth much, but I'm a big hockey fan, so NHL there. And then the last game, same age as me. <laughs> yeah, he's a young, he's a young buck. He's a young buck. He's an apprentice. Apprentice. <laughs> but this is NHL 2002. Like I said, we're going for the full NHL set. So, gotta yeah. start somewhere. Yeah, we have got to start somewhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our new temporary host. You might see more of him. We might get a little feature now and again. Maybe put me here, come here. Depends if they let me out. Maybe put Dan <laughs> on the back. Yeah. Depends if you let him out at cage or not. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. See you at next one. Get over here!